2022 at Longan Lutheran Church in Mission Hill, South Dakota. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to welcome everyone to worship this morning. Um, guests, please sign the guest book in the narthex. And I hope that everyone will come back at 12.30 for lunch in honor of Mary. Um, we need to extend our, our sympathies to Beth Hansen and her family because her mother passed away. Um, Venice Bentley will be confirmed next week at Faith United and here Vaden and Priya and Emily will receive their first communion. So we have lots of things to celebrate. <laughs> Welcome to worship. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, let's begin with the brief order for confession and forgiveness on page 56. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Most merciful God, we confess that we are in bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. And now hear the good news and the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ, was given to die for you, and for his sake, God forgives you all your sins. To those who believe in Jesus Christ, he gives the power to become the children of God, and bestows on them the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's join together in singing, Take my life that I may be.
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Tyler. Good to see you. Yeah. And I can't, what's your name? Peggy. Hi, Peggy. And this is April. <laughs> um, what I wanted to talk about today is about how God gives us gifts and talents. And um, that it's good that we use them for Making the world better. Grandpa. Yeah, Grandpa. Yeah, that's Grandpa. Yeah. And making the world better and doing God's will. Now, what are you tired? What is something that you think you're talented in or you're really good at? Chickens. <laughs> Why am I not surprised about that? Um, is there any way do you think that you could use that to make the world better or to honor God? Is there any way you think you could do that? 
You don't know? Well, I'm sure that you can. You're teaching. You're teaching very good care for animals. And that's something that everyone should know, isn't it? Yeah, you should could do that. Yeah. And how about you? Is she good at something? What is she good? Being shy. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, that's good. That's good. Yeah, you can snuggle with Grandpa. What? What does it mean? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Showing love to one another. That's good, too. That's good. Now, me. <laughs> um, oh. I used to be able to sing better, and so I would sing, sing for funerals and weddings and all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, now I'm preaching, but you know, I was thinking just the other day that uh, I love flowers and plants, and I was thinking maybe there's some way that I could, you know, maybe start giving out plants or do something uh, for someone else as a gift. So I was thinking of that for me. And April, I try to try to help out wherever I can, and I send a lot of cards out. Yes, you do. Yes, you do a lot. You do a lot. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay. Now what? What? I, let's say a prayer first, and then I'll then I'll give these out. Lord, help us to um, be better. And, um, and be, show your love to others. And thank you for giving us our gifts and our talents. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And I'm giving you a little poster. This is one of the verses I like. It says, we love because God first loved us. And that's from 1 John. And I got it in different colors. What color would you like it? What color do you want? She got oh, the green. Okay. We have a green. How's that one for you? That's yours. Mm -hmm. Tiger. There's pink and there's silver. Okay, take yellow. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming up. First reading today is from Amos chapter 8, starting with verse 4. Hear this, you who trample the needy and do away with the poor of the land, saying, When will the new moon be over, that we may sell grain, and the Sabbath be ended, that we may mark it? Wheat. Giving the measure, boosting the price, and cheating with dishonest scales. Buying the poor with silver and the needy for a pair of sandals. Selling even the sweepings with the wheat. Lord has spoken by the pride of Jacob. I will never forget anything they have done. Here is the last, first lesson. Our psalm reading today is Psalm 113, and it's on page 270 in the LBW, and we will read it responsibly by verse. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be blessed from this time forth. 
From the rising of the sun to its going down, let the name of the Lord be praised. Who is like the Lord our God, who sits enthroned on high, but stoops to behold the heavens and the earth? He takes up the wheel out of the dust, and lifts up the poor from the ashes. He sets them with the princes says, and the princes of his people. He takes the woman of the child's house. Our second reading today is from 1 Timothy chapter 2, beginning with verse 1. I urge then, first of all, that request prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for everyone, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all men to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator before, between God and men. The man Jesus Christ, who gave himself as a ransom for all men, the testimony given in its proper time. And for this purpose I was appointed a herald and, a pop, and an apostle. I am telling the truth. I am not lying, lying and a teacher of true faith to the Gentiles. Here ends the lesson. <laughs> Property, 
Who will give you property of your own? No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. The Gospel of the Lord. You may have 
heard this story before, but I'm going to share it again because I think it is such a good example of shrewd behavior on the behalf of others. Mayor LaGuardia of New York City was one of America's most colorful public figures. He served three terms as New York's mayor, and he died in 1949. Once he showed up at night court and dismissed the presiding magistrate for the evening. Then, as a mayor's prerogative in those days, he took over the bench himself. On the bitter cold night, a pitiful, shriv shivering old woman was brought before him to answer to the charge of stealing a loaf of bread. LaGuardia asked if she had anything to say. She told him that her family had been in dire straits for weeks. Her daughter's husband had deserted her and their four children. And the daughter was penniless, and the children were without food. They were in a hopeless situation. Hearing this, LaGuardia asked the shopkeeper, who had accused the woman, if he would withdraw the charge. And the shopkeeper refused. It's a bad neighborhood, he said. She's got to be punished to teach other people around here a lesson. And the mayor said to the woman, I'm afraid I must punish you. The law is the law, and there are no exceptions. I hereby sentence you to a $10 fine or 10 days in jail. And as he spoke, the mayor reached into his pocket and withdrew a bill. And then he said, here's the $10 fine which I now remit. And furthermore, I'm going to fine everyone in this courtroom 50 cents for living in a town where a person has to steal bread so that her grandchildren can eat. Mr. Beta, collect the fines and give them to the defendant. The next day, the newspaper reported the story of how $47.50 had been turned over to this ill-clad, hungry grandmother. The total had been collected from some 70 persons in court the night, 70 persons in court that night, waiting to answer charges of petty crime and traffic violations. LaGuardia was a good example of acting shrewdly and enthusiastically, not for his own interest, but on the behalf of others in need. The shopkeeper said that the lady needed to be punished to teach other people. I'm sure the people in court that night learned even more by LaGuardia's shrewdness and compassion. And is it really so difficult to figure out what God wants? Well, yes. If we try to ask God to help us decide whether to paint our living room doom cream off-white or eggshell off-white. But in the things that really matter in life, we already know what God wants. God wants us to love one another to show mercy and compassion to the needy, to be generous, because God has been generous to us, to show gratitude, to care about justice. God wants our hearts to break over whatever breaks God's heart. And God wants us to tell others about the joy we found through Christ. The joy of knowing that in life and in death, we belong to God and serve only God. Now, perhaps you know the old hymn that starts out this way. Let's see if I can sing it this morning. Oh, love that will not let me go. God's 
love that will not let us go. If we love anything or anyone more than we love God, we are trying to serve two masters. It won't work, friends. It will come to grief. So at every turn, let's say, yet yeah, not what I want, God, but what you want. May it be so. Amen.
entryway in the back is the offering plate. And, and we can go ahead and say, create in me, page 75.
Gathered together in the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, gracious God, we offer these and all our prayers to you through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. And our closing hymn is Rise Up, O Saints of God. Except it's Tyler, it's Tyler's birthday, so let's sing Happy Birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs>